Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to do spiral art. Super easy. I just colored it the inside rainbow. I'm going to do a different type of colorful look. This is just an example I had. And then I colored it rainbow because I thought it looked much prettier. So the things you can use. So it, all you need is a tape roll like this. A washi tape. And do you know it's really helpful and looks really cool? If you have a mini one in the middle, and then you have bigger tape rolls going outwards. That is what I want to do. I look for washi tape like that, and they were all the same size. So, I just did one all the same size, and I hope you enjoy this video. So, let's get started. So, for this, you will need colors i'm using the colors in the rainbows for mine or you can just do it in pencils but if you're doing the same one as me oh the red and the orange are switched then as soon as you do that you obviously will need a tape roll unless you have like a different type of circle and then i have a piece of paper trust me i'm not using a really big one if i hold it out see it's not that big see compared to this piece of paper how tiny it is so I'm not really using a big piece of paper for this. All right, I think now we can actually get started. So first off, you're gonna need your paper out. See mine, just there. Okay, so put your tape roll in the center of the paper. Mine's not really centered. I need to move forward a little bit, perfect. Yep, and then I'm taking my first color and I'm basically just going to go inside and basically sketch a circle. And if you want, you can make the inside line thick, like I'm doing, because if you mess up on your first one, Okay, because it's hard because the camera's in my lap, actually. So, yeah, it's harder. So, you'll probably get it much easier without it in your lap. So, I'm doing a thick inner ring like this. Okay, so I did mine thick. Okay, then take your next color. Mine's orange, obviously. And raise your tape roll above it like this so mine's like that basically okay and then sketch sure. this is the orange it's very red like and then, take your next color. Mine's yellow, of course. Move it about the same space, just a bit over. Like that. Kind of have it like that. Okay, so I'm opening up my yellow. Then I'm going to have it close. So you guys can see it, and I can see it definitely. There's the yellow hoop. Okay, so markers will be a bit scratchy, <laughs> scratchy like the ones I'm using. They aren't meant for fast movement. They're meant for slow, delicate touch. So if you need to go over your marker, that is totally allowed. See, looks better. I'm not using Crayola. I'd recommend Crayola actually for this. But yeah, so now let's take your green. Move over from the yellow like this. See, just like that. Bam. Perfect. So. 
Your spiral art should sort of look like that. Just like that. There. That should be good for you guys to see. Alright, then take your roll. Okay, so let's put it over. Thing. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Alright, enough with my bad, bad, bad moving movement. Oh, sorry. Hold your tape down. And you basically oh god total mess up mm. I sh shouldn't have used markers I'm getting at that I should have went over it with markers after you're done Sounds oh, like that. Problem. Problem. Right there. Alright, so. As you can kind of see, keep going around the circle. Keep going until you. And I'll show you at the end. So when you get about this point where you have this, a gap. And you don't want it to make it look bad. All you really do is just put a circle in between it. Like this. And if you want, you can add you can add two rings there to make it look just normal. So this is how your spiral art should look. Cool. Looks like a whole bunch of rings, skin rings. Check that onto a bigger ring. So let's start another one. So you're going to want to add a red ring about, so where we started, we started here. Wait, started here. So then I'm going to turn this this way. This looks like black, but really it's just really dark purple. Okay. So if you think you should use black, I wouldn't recommend it. So go above about... This much, okay? Oh, I got pink. Need red, and then trace your circle, okay? Just like that, and keep going till you have a whole ring. And if you're still confused, I will help you with the end over here again, okay? I know I should have probably start, ended off by starting with the light purple, but I just didn't bother continuing with the next one. And if you make mistakes like that, you can always just take white out. Okay, there's my white out. There's my white out. I'm just going to so zoom. Watch. Open my white out. Wait, did I get sprayed? Oh, sorry, wrong spot. There. That's a little better. Stab it. See? Bam. Mistake is gone. It's like bug be gone. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you back right after I'm done the second ring. So, you see um, the end is right here, so I added a dark ring and a light ring. Sorry, I didn't really help you guys that much, but I hope you can go back to before and watch me help you with that other ring, okay? So, I think you guys get it. I'm going to come back and end the video off at like 10 minutes. Okay, and I'm gonna film the rest of it, okay? And you know what, it might be 11 minutes. I might teach you guys how to do the corners too, so we fill this whole page up, okay? So bye. Not bye, just 
I'll be back. <laughs> so that's the time where you get into the corners. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do those. And if you don't want to do the corners, you can just add pretty little dots in the corner. Just a nice couple different rainbow dots in the corners of each. Maybe red and orange, green and blue, yellow and pink, purple and pink. Oh wait, <laughs> I said pink. Anyways, enough of my blabbering. I will show you in this video. It'll probably be longer than I thought it would take, but depends. I'm trying to show you exactly this step by step. So I'm here at the paper, so as you can see, I'm like this. Okay? And I have part of the paper. I think I might turn it like that. See? Just like that. And I'm going to start off with red, of course. And then go into your circle. You might want to go over it. I've learned. And done. See the circle? Perfectly. See? So I'm on the... See? And then take your tape roll again. And go like that. So there, you covered up your corners basically. Looks normal. So do that on all your corners, and then I'll meet you back for final words. So I finished up all the corners, okay? And I put a P in the middle for my initial. Okay. And yeah, that's basically all. I hope you have a fabulous day, and bye!